Hi, good morning guys. Um, I'm filming this really early and I have to leave for my job in half an hour I guess or an hour maybe. I don't know. But I just really wanted to film a quick intro because today I'm going to test out the professional against the Lottie London Insta Pour Eraser Stick. Insta Filter Pour Eraser Stick, that's the name. So they're both pore minimizing. And I just wanted to see because I tested this in the store on my hand because I have like really large pores on my hands. And they were almost gone. So I bought it. I haven't used it yet on my face. So I wanted to compare the two of them against each other because there was also the price gap between both of them is also huge. I can't remember how much I paid for this and I can't remember how much I paid for this because I got it as a gift but I know this is expensive. This is drugstore so I'm going to test them and then I'll put the prices on screen. I'm so sorry it's really early and I have to rush because I don't want to be late for work because I was filming. So yeah, that's a test. On this side I'm going to use the Lottie London stick and on this side I'm going to use the professional. Then I'm going to apply just light makeup because I have to go to work and normally I don't go like full face so I'm just going to apply a little bit of makeup, uh, wear it throughout the day and then I'll check back in during my lunch break and at the end of the day how it wore, which side looks better, which side held up the best I guess. So I already washed and prepared my face so I moisturized it and stuff so I'm ready to go. So yeah, let's start this video. So for this side I'm just going to take the stick. It doesn't say how you have to use it on here but I guess you just rub it on your face so that's what I'm going to do. Wow, my skin feels so soft. Okay, so I guess I have my whole face covered in primer now. On this side, my skin feels so smooth. Like almost too smooth to be true. Okay, then on the other side I'm going to apply the professional. Okay, so... Looking at my skin without anything on, I guess the professional is like a little bit more, I don't know, it looks smoother, but this side feels smoother. So I can see a little bit more pores right here than I do on this side, but it's also possible that this side is just worse than this side. So. Let's see how the makeup applies. So I'm going to take the Fit Me um, foundation from Maybelline. It's a Luminous Plus Smooth one. And it's in the shade 120. Does it have a name? I don't know. I don't think so. No, it's just 120. So I'm going to take a little bit of that. And just the tiniest bit. Because I don't want to be... I don't want to be cake face at work. So... Just going to apply a little bit of that all over the face. And like I said, I used this in a video with Arno. And I suspected it would be too dark for me. But I can just about get away with it. So I took the 
same shade as the other fit me but i have a feeling this one is a little bit more orange tones than the other one on both sides it applied really great it's super smooth to apply oh so now i have watery eyes i always get this in the morning that i really have to sneeze a lot so i'm sorry that's how you can really tell if I'm filming this really early in the morning and I haven't done anything else because I always get a runny nose and yeah. watery eyes so that's going to be fun to do my makeup I don't know if I see like a really big difference from the bed I'm just going to look in the normal lighting One thing I'm noticing, and I, I'm not sure if it's the primer or not, is my smile line on this side is a lot less creased than on this side already. So that's the professional side. So I don't know if the Lottie London stick filled this in a little bit more, whether this didn't. But like in, I can see, I can still see pores but it's not as bad yeah i guess i prefer the lottie london side a little bit more just because the smile line is a little bit more covered but the pore filling aspect of both is like a little bit disappointing they're both good primers but i can see still see some very clear pores on my face so yeah so for my concealer, I'm going to use the, I don't know how to pronounce this correct in English, but we call it Catrice. So I guess Catrice, I don't know. Cosmetics Liquid Camouflage High Coverage, high coverage Concealer in 020 Light Beige. And in store, this was a good match. But I'm looking at it now, it looks very yellow. And I'm more of a neutral undertone, so I'm not sure how it's going to look. But yeah. color match is good it could be a little bit lighter but the same with the foundation a sh one shade lighter is so pink and like i said i'm a neutral undertone so with yellow i can get away because my hair and stuff is a little bit more to the warmer side but with pink it just looks very wrong so that's why I picked the 120 instead of the 115 from the foundation because it was so pink and it just doesn't suit me if I wear pink undertones on my face so this concealer blends really nice to the skin it could be a little bit lighter but it does the job so and it's just for going to work it's not like I have to go to an event where I have to be highlighted to the gods or something like that so okay I'm going to do the rest of my face makeup and then I'll see you when I'm done okay so I applied my natural makeup I went for a natural look and then I got carried away again but I think it's natural enough to go to work so I'm going to zoom you in a little bit so you can see the face up close oops that was out okay I don't know maybe I should move a little closer so I don't know if you can see like a really big difference on camera I can't but if I take my mirror 
mi mirror. I really struggle to pronounce that. Yeah, I, I prefer this side just because the surface here looks smoother than on the other side. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to do like a shot in normal lighting also because now there's a really bright white light on my face. But yeah, I guess I prefer the Lottie London side for now and we'll see how it wears throughout the day. I'm just going to set my face with the Urban Decay setting spray and yeah, I'll check back in with you when I'm on my lunch break because now I really have to go to work so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm on my lunch break and yeah, I'm very quiet because I don't want the people in the store to hear me and yeah this is how my makeup is looking it's been on for I think three to four hours now and yeah I still prefer this side I don't know this side looks a little bit more textured than this side it could be just me but still feeling good I really like the combination of the primer with this foundation a little bit more than the combination with this primer so yeah I'll check back in when I'm done working because I don't want my colleagues to walk in on me vlogging myself so I'm back from work I'm in my kitchen and my hair looks like a mess but let's ignore that and nice ass Shake that ass. Okay, bye. And I don't know what's the best way to film this, but yeah, my mascara is like black under my eyes because I I didn't feel very well today, so I was really hot and constantly sweating. So yeah, it's getting really oily on my face and. I don't know, in the camera, I think I prefer this side now. This side looks a little bit more controlled and I don't know, this side is starting to break apart a little bit more, I guess. I'll check back in upstairs, but I wanted to show you because I just got off my bike and yeah, so I cycled home, so I'm sweating a little bit. But I think I prefer this side now, but we'll, I'll talk about it more upstairs. So I'm so ready to take this makeup off because it's been on my face for so long. It's now 10 to 11 and it's been on my face since 9. <laughs> and... <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm so ready for this to come off because it's so oily and when I touch it, it gets greasy and I get makeup on my hands. So, yeah, I don't think there's much left to say. I think this side has been my favorite from the beginning. Only this side held up a little bit longer, I think. But I prefer the way this looked. I don't know, it seemed smoother on this side. And, yeah... I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and then I'll see you in the next one. Bye!